Twitch channel. And now uh, we're going to get our feedback over here. And it looks like the match is getting ready to go up. Uh, apologies for the delay. Uh, it is going to be Cruncho Zach versus Tamona Kuro, a.k.a. Shaggy T. It's going to be Bugs Bunny versus Shaggy in what should be another very fast match. Because Shaggy T has no chill. And I mean that very seriously. He actually <laughs> has no chill whatsoever in terms of rushing people down to find really fast knockouts. Oh, and look at this damage coming out here from Cruncho. Looking for their own Bugs Loops. Oh, that upper connected. It could have been big. But right now we see TK sitting at 69. Make that 75. They do have access to this rage, though. Let's see if they can get something off of it, Ajax. This is, uh, I mean, this that's the biggest fear of uh, of what he can do. Like, he will capitalize on you with these double nares, into, uh, sometimes three, and then you panic and he covers you with a side special. Or, for that matter, the uh, the neutral special, which has that big, uh, like, parry move to it, and it spikes. So when you're off stage, you have to be so careful about how he decides to chase you. As the, the sandwich comes out, tries to use the up special, but it's not going to find its mark. Yeah, as we see the rocket coming out there. This is this is so interesting. As I was saying earlier, Ajax, this is one of those matchups where it's like, it kind of goes either way. We see TK trying to look for their opening, trying to look for their way to get in and deal that damage. But Cruncho just wanted to stay away, look for their own setups off of their projectiles. Right now, both of them giving each other a lot of respect. Good trade up on uh, being able to break that. Dare to up air won't be enough, but that's a free rage. And... Uh, almost a good read on where he was but it went a little bit too far that however has armor behind it so it's gonna go ahead and eat the safe but it wasn't enough to find a knockout yeah tk right here throwing out the sandwich looking for the knee able to get the up special as well and terminal kuro up 1-0 on the match point but as i say that cruncho landing a down air over here on the right side of the ledge caught tk lacking waiting absolutely no time whatsoever to go ahead and even this game back up does not surprise me as we said cruncho has been on an absolute tear of late so he does not let leads go away for a long period of time as they're both just trying to i mean this is a whole game of neutral right now just trying to find a big opener that is a big opener for shaggy t is he's able to put on 30 quickly yeah, I love the maneuverability right there with the rocket. Cruncho trying to get around this, but here comes TK looking for a little bit of a rage setup. Able to get it. Let's see if they'll be able to stack onto some damage onto Cruncho. Cruncho is going to go ahead and utilize those tunnels and has caught him into the dares. Hits and the dares. And I hear the rocket coming back down. I don't remember where it was, though. And this is wrecked all the way up to 82. Misses out in the up air, but that is a big amount of damage that just got him back into it. Yeah, TK said he had 92 here, trying to look for the key blast, not able to get it. Up air coming out from Cruncho. Cruncho going up for the up special. Yo, TK said he had 110 right now. Ajax has to be careful. One straight up air could do it. And you already know uh, Shaggy with some decent weight to him, so it's going to be able to live a little bit longer. And not, not going to be able to apply the rage, but baits him out by trying to go punish the rage. Looking for a dodge in. Instead, Cruncho dodges out, and he gets away from the uppercut. Yeah, the safe throw thrown out there, trying to deny those sandwiches in neutral. Cruncho has access to that dynamite. Oh, going off stage. Oh! The reverse for the reverse. He literally reversed his reverse. <laughs> TK looking for the down air there, and Cruncho responding with the down air of their own. Cruncho up 1-0. Oh my goodness. That was such a good reaction from Cruncho Zach to get around the attempted bait from Tamura Curl there, trying to drag him off stage into the rage, thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna commit to his time, right? I'm all the way off stage. And to get a dare, but Kurtzo said, no, 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 no. I see through that and got his own dare. And even if he missed that, he was still in a good position to possibly get a knockout on Shaggy T. Because Shaggy T just burned a special, burned a dodge, and then burned a jump to try and position himself for that dare. And then he was going to be down and he would have had to go to the bottom. And that could have possibly been another spike from uh, Crunchyroll anyways. So good job on Crunchyroll avoiding getting the game ripped away from him as he tried to get him with that big deer. Yeah, that was a really, really good adaptation right there from Crunchyroll. And if TK wants to be able to respond and get back into this set, I feel so... The one thing we're going to have to see is, one, playing around the safe being set up. When the safe is set up, right, you cannot go for sandwich and throw those into the safe because you cannot land any damage there. It basically just blocks all incoming projectiles. So I think TK needs to do is kind of wait out the safe, let Cruncho try to manipulate the safe and use that to push a little bit of their stage control, and then look to punish that end lag. Because sometimes we'll see Cruncho the 4-4 there, look for their own little jab off of it. 
punish the ending of those attacks and look for those openings. I think that will be huge here for TK if they can find openings here in neutral game. Yeah, I think I think he's doing I think he actually was doing pretty good overall in that game. It's just like the punish game on bugs is just so massive. Yeah. Like it, it's all all he needed to do was win uh like he just needed two punishes on him and he had him at 80 plus or sometimes just one punish and he got him 80 plus so shaggy's gonna have to find a way to navigate around that um i think going back to skyrena no flats would be kind of scary because you're once again opening up a free range domination of stage with tunnel that's why we're not gonna see that we are in c good we are in fact going to see a counter pick here to trophy's edge giving him a little bit of a different change and slightly lower blast zones to try and get some of those early knockouts yeah, as we see right now, TK is trying to look for that charge. He's able to get it, but Cruncho, ooh, that almost looks like an early KO right there, Ajax. Cruncho extending off stage, and unfortunately, Tom and the girl not having any more resources over on the right side of the stage. Hashtag crunched. Uh, he caught him out of his jump with that cider and Oh, well, he's gonna answer right back. Almost catches him with the Tomono Kuro special. He tried to get him on a, uh, the Nair after the jump, which would have let him go for another one to keep carrying him off the stage. Yeah, look at the damage coming in. Uh oh, TK looking for a response. But Crunchyroll just kind of has to be able to sit back a little bit, trying to get off of this edge guard, and is able to. And there's the down air into the neutral air. And Crunchyroll just able to get so much damage off of those exchanges. It just feels as though if you make one mistake, Ajax, you're in trouble against bugs. And that's pretty much the way that both Alex and Crunchyroll have been playing. They've been able to kind of invalidate a majority of people who've been trying to kind of just wait for them to move first. And then they, they just get so much out of it. That heavy projectile sandwich, though, mattering so much, getting the trade off on the rocket, allowing them to get in, and he gets the read there on the jump with the side special, evening up the game. Great stuff right there. And now that this game is even, we see that TK has that rage, is trying to do something with that five stacks of weakness. But there it is, narrowed to up air, almost able to get that kill. Tumblr Crow sitting at 112. This is so dangerous. You need to be very selective of your approaches. He almost captures him on that dare up air, and now he's got to respect Tunnel again. This is his free range to run. Tries to challenge it with the dare, and he puts up the safe on the other side, trying to bait him to approach. The safe going to go into the air, so that's going to mess up his ability to challenge a little bit more, but he keeps avoiding these dare starters from Cruncho to try and close out the game until that moment where he finally made a mistake, and Cruncho moves up two in the set. Great stuff right there from Cruncho, still responding strong, even though it looked like it was a little bit in advantage for Tumblr Crow off of that rage. It had those five stacks of weakness. Cruncho able to land that neutral air, and you all already know the rest. Yeah, Cr Cruncho, much like Alex before, has just been playing this game of let's hover around this specific zone. Let me make you approach, and I'm going to whiff punish, and nobody's been able to beat it. Uh, I feel like you almost have to play a bit more patient against it, but the problem is the more patient you play, the more rockets he gets, the more safes he gets. So he gets more uh, heavy projectiles to just dominate you. So your your hand is forced to have to approach, and that has kind of been the biggest issue so far for not only K7 Shaw up earlier, but Tomoda Kuro here who's trying to get a W on the board. He's currently facing... Uh, a potential L after he is also another person, Niall, who has been climbing all the way through the loser's bracket to get back up to this point, much like that incredible run that Alex has been on. But the difference is one of these two looks like they might fall right now as yeah. Cruncho Zach is looking to possibly take this 3-0. Yeah, we shall see. We shall see. Going into this game three stage pick wise, I don't think I got a chance to see the stage. Uh, what do you think? I think stage pick wise here. Uh, I think you run it back. Um, I, I I think Sky Arena was it's it's too. It, it does help you survival wise, but like it wasn't helping you mix up your landings. But it does sound like he's gonna run it back to Sky Arena instead. So it's feeling like he might want just more room to to live. Uh, it was pretty close that time, but not feeling comfortable. With Trophy's Edge and. Well, right now, you just got to land, and it, that's been kind of the name of the game, is somehow touching the ground against Bugs. Yeah, Bugs such a great character, being able to juggle their opponent and keep them above them. But right now, we see Tumblr Crow trying to play a little bit of neutral game here, and this is where it becomes difficult, because when Bugs has all of that stage control to work with, he can just set up for days over there on the left or right side of the stage. And even if you are controlling one side, it's like, how do how do you work around the floor your projectiles and just utility that Bugs Bunny possesses? Yeah, I actually like what uh, Tomoda Kuro tried to do, but he, he went the wrong direction. Uh, we haven't really seen him apply the slow on the second hand of down attack 
like all set until he made an attempt on it just a second ago but that option coverage actually is absurd because when you get that rocket in front of you you're forced to go down he dodged down and he covered him with the stair after he already burned the jump so he probably had like no resources whatsoever to do dodge back in and he just was able to cover it and take it out yeah Crunchyroll doing a great job with that and now just able to stack on the damage playing on the offensive Tumnal Crow needs to find a way to respond right now looking to set up the rage and is able to works around the rocket and now has to fight against bugs with access to tunnel and bugs had the safe as a like emergency escape option because he got hit by dare and the safe came out and helped him out that's actually crazy that Crunchyroll is just keeping himself like just keeping everything safe on terms of where he's positioned but at least he had a momentary help with some backup by stealing the tv but has now come to an end uh oh looking for that up air oh Ooh, almost getting the kill that was so close to getting that up air into the rocket and right now tomorrow girl staring at what could be a 3-0 high into sarah go for another save to try and punish him looks for the punish on the landing sidekick does not find its mark 103 damage now on shaggy and it's only gonna climb but he finally finds it down there to get himself at least one on the board yeah able to connect with that down air, but still sitting at 103 percent this is still very scary one straight hit yep but down air could do it needs to be very very selective of what they go for here yeah you know you're very correct in that you just need you, you can only make so many correct decisions from this point forward that's because crunch has made all oh. the decisions wrong he hit him with the safe he had to burn both of his jumps he tried to stall around the pie after it was already out there uh, or the safe i can't remember what the projectile was at the end but it was a dynamite that, <laughs> uh, no that, that was what i was gonna say it was coming after so he he forced the two jumps because of the first one and then he caught him with the dynamite at the end because he had to stall with the down air to hopefully get back in and he was already out of jump so it, no, even if he didn't get knocked out there it was over and it is now the end of Tomona Curl's run air in this make it rain dog 1v1 edition top eight and also time for somebody to go and use their photoshop editing skills and take <laughs> the look that Niall has and put hashtag crunched <laughs>